Boom, baby, Murad Finky. I'm here with Raymond Ramos from Code Ninjas. What's up, man? Not much. Pretty good. How's it going? Thank you for having me. Oh, pleasure. I want to learn about Code Ninjas so that I can be a ninja when it comes to code. Right. <laughs> so, so what we do here at Code Ninjas is we teach coding kids anywhere from five uh, to 14 years old. Uh, we teach them coding by having them code video games. That's awesome. You know, I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old, and so uh, I want to bring them to learn coding. Well, how would I fit this in with their school and everything else? Oh, the best part about uh, Code Ninjas is that we have flexible scheduling. So mm -hmm. uh, it's not there's no set class times or anything like that. So it's whenever it's convenient for you, you can drop them off. Uh, really? At your, yeah, at your convenience. So flexible scheduling. We have senseis coming around all the time to help them out. Mm -hmm. um, they can come in and get dropped off anytime. And how long, like, for someone to get good at coding, how long, how much training do they need? How, like, how often? It really depends. Uh, so each child is different. That's why our curriculum is self-paced, you know? Um, some kids go through it a lot quicker than the, you know, than the others. Of course, the younger ones will take a little bit longer, uh, just because most of the time these days, uh, kids are young, who are young, are used to tablets, so they're not used to laptops and computers and PCs. So it might take them a little bit longer, um, but most of the time, you know, uh, kids would come in for about uh, twice a week for two hours. Um, usually they can uh, go through our program in about a three to four year program. Three to four years? Mm -hmm. Twice a week? Is that two hours per time? No, or? one hour per time, yes. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not, yeah. That's it's, a, it's a, you know, the, our, the end goal on our end is that by the time they'll, they'll finish the coding curriculum, they will, they'll be able to design and code their own game and have it published. Whoa. But what they do with that afterwards, it's really up to them. We've had a few uh, ninjas all over the country who have finished black belt and they've become part of their uh, high school computer science uh, you know, clubs and uh, they aspire to be like uh, coders and they're gonna take you know, computer science in college. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so what kind of games like can, can they code? Oh, any game that they can imagine. Um, it's really up to them. Um, you know, whatever they're, whatever they want to do. Sometimes it's, it's something that's has it's isn't out there, or they want to modify current games that are already out there. That is super cool. Mm -hmm. How much does this cost? Okay, so for us, there's a couple options for our location. Um, you can come in for two hours a week or for unlimited hours per week. Um, for two hours per week, it's two thirty nine per month. And then for unlimited hours, it's two fifty nine per month. Oh wow, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Well, show us the classroom. Sure, well, yeah. Let's, let's do that. Cool. All right, here at Conjus, we play off the whole ninja theme. So with our coding curriculum, they go from white belt to black belt. So the first four belts, they learn a coding a code language called JavaScript. In blue belt, they learn how to use a Roblox Studio. And then the higher four belts, they learn C sharp. And we use Unity 3D, which is what the, what they use for known popular games like Call of Duty and such like that. Wow, how long does it take to advance through the colors? Oh, it's about, it's about a three, it depends on the child. It, it's about a three to four year program, but we've had kids like go through the first few belts a lot quicker than that. So it really depends on the number of hours they come in. And you know how much uh, you know how much how fast they can go through the curriculum. Wow, that's exciting! And when you're a black belt, you can code pretty yes. much. Yeah, <laughs> you can create wow. your you're pretty much designing your own games. And plus, once they finish the curriculum, it's a little it's going to make it a lot easier for them to move to a different language, learn different languages, and things like that. Wow! All right, let's see the classroom. Sound good? Let's go this way. So whenever a child comes in, they come in with a wristband, which designates what uh, level they're on. So they, like I said, they go from white belt to black belt. They scan their wristbands over here, which logs them into the system. Awesome. Once they, get, once they scan in, they're kind of walking in. And this is our classroom, which we call a dojo, since we all play off the ninja theme. Um, once they come in, they pick any station they want, and they kind of type in a name. That's how they log into the system. Code Ninjas has their own game development platform which we use, and then once they, they're logged in, they start coding where they left off. Wow, and this then is while nice. The whole time they're here, we have like our code senses, our instructors, kind of walking around and helping them out. Is this boring? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> la, la, that's why we use like the whole gaming thing, gaming theme to have them <clears> code. <throat> that's why, you know, our platform is designed for 
for coders to learn how to code by coding video games. Excellent. It keeps the kids interested. Gaming is a big thing among kids nowadays. All right. Well, I can't wait to, to bring my kids over here to Code Ninjas. We will get them involved, and I can't wait to see the outcome. Awesome. Sounds good. Any last thing you want to add? No, nope, that's pretty much it. Welcome to Code Ninjas. I uh, hope to see you all soon. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate right. it.